from the state that just can't be normal for even a few hours, for Christ's sake. I'm Pete Melfi, and this is the Florida Man Report. In the news this week, a Florida woman was arrested after snarling and growling at customers at a St. Petersburg Burger King. No, of course that's not the end of the story. When she got to jail and was strip searched, the woman removed seven syringes from inside her vagina. I've heard of DP, but I have to imagine having seven pricks inside of you at once is some sort of a record. Also, a Florida man was caught driving his car while hanging out of the sunroof just so that he could purposely get arrested. He literally told police that he would rather go to jail than go back home to his wife. And a Lake City, Florida man was arrested for refusing to move a sticker from his truck that read, I eat ass. Apparently, Florida is so backwards, we're now arresting people for things we invented doing in the first place. And our top story comes as a Florida man told police he was just going for a walk and then he, quote, normally does this. What was he doing? What the hell do you think he was doing? He was naked and masturbating on a public street corner. Because of course he was. It wouldn't be Florida news without a naked public masturbator. Witnesses say that they were having a barbecue with friends when they looked over and saw 52-year-old Jamie Whitting openly pleasuring himself as horrified people drove by in cars and passed him on the street. Witnesses also said that Whitting was publicly masturbating for over a half an hour in broad daylight before police showed up and took him to jail. And now that I'm considering relocating to another state as soon as possible, first, we should probably get a quick check of the weather. And that's about all the time we have left for today. Don't forget to get all the best Florida Man news daily at FL Man Report or at Pete M-E-L-F-I on social media. Thank you for watching another episode of the Florida Man Report. And until next week, I'm Pete Melfi reminding you that despite what Floridians may tell you, meth is actually something that you should probably stay away from.